Hello everyone, welcome to the Aquashop Wasabi Aquarium channel. In this video, we will cover basics of beating algae number 5, how to kill blackbeard algae. I am going to guess that everyone who has had a planted aquarium has experienced this algae at least once. You may have had this algae growing on your driftwood, rocks, or even your aquarium plants. It probably looked black and fluffy, but sometimes you will see gray or some other different colors. In any case, blackbeard algae is a headache to deal with and it takes a lot of effort to remove. Normally, things like a mono shrimp and autosynclus are enough for soft algae, but other than the occasional Siamese algae eater, nothing will eat blackbeard algae. Unfortunately, no animals will eradicate all of it when your tank is overrun with blackbeard algae, and because of all this, dealing with this pest is very challenging. So for this video, I will tell you why blackbeard algae will grow in an aquarium, and also how to remove it when it has appeared in your aquarium. These are the two topics I will be discussing for this video. Here at Aquashop Wasabi, I have dealt with many different algae over the years. Over time, I have learned not only what kind of conditions blackbeard algae likes to grow in, but also how to reduce and remove this difficult algae. So for those viewers dealing with blackbeard algae, this information should be useful, and I hope you keep watching to the end. So here is an example of blackbeard algae in an aquarium. It may be difficult, but if you look at the driftwood in the middle, you should be able to see the algae in patches. Like I mentioned earlier, they look sort of soft and fluffy in appearance. To start, blackbeard algae normally has a hard time growing on healthy, thriving plants. It's usually on your hardscape, like your driftwood and rocks, that you'll find this algae. You'll see it pop up in tanks with too many nutrients or after a very large trimming session where you have taken out a lot of plant material. Later in the video, I will teach you how to beat blackbeard algae, so stay tuned. But first, let's answer the question, why does blackbeard algae start growing in an aquarium? There are three main reasons why blackbeard algae will appear. Reason one, you have a dirty aquarium. This reason does not apply to just blackbeard algae, but to any algae. As a general fact, the dirtier your aquarium is, the more algae will want to grow. For blackbeard algae, the main cause is said to be too much phosphorus, but to be specific, an imbalance of too much nitrogen or phosphorus is what makes algae grow. And that wraps up reason number one, dirty water. Next is reason two, water flow. When you have too much direct flow hitting your driftwood, rocks, or plants for a long time, it is very common to find blackbeard algae in those areas getting too much flow. I am going to assume most of you use an external filter for water circulation, and it is possible that strong flow coming from your filter can be directly hitting the affected areas. This is easy to check, so definitely do that. Finally, reason number three. There is not enough plant mass in the tank, or the plants are not really growing. In the end, the condition of your plants can dramatically change how much blackbeard algae can grow. For example, in an aquarium with healthy, growing plants, you will not see any blackbeard algae. It may sound weird and probably not something you have actively thought of before, but in healthy aquariums, you just do not see any blackbeard algae. The opposite is true as well. Blackbeard algae will appear in aquariums with plants that are doing poorly or in an aquarium that does not have enough plant mass. This is thought to be the reason why blackbeard algae will grow. These three reasons are thought to be what blackbeard algae likes to appear and grow in. Next, let's talk about what to do when you have an existing blackbeard algae problem. 
So for this video, one of the answers will not be to remove it by hand. You may know that there are many different ways of removing it by hand. One example is using wood vinegar and coating the algae growing on a leaf until it turns red, then letting your shrimps eat the dying algae. But for this video, I will not be talking about these methods. The reason being that if the environment the algae was growing in is not fixed, the blackbeard algae is just going to grow back. At that point, it will turn into a cat and mouse game, which is not worth doing. So instead, the better way to do it is to solve the root problem, the environment first, so that it will lead to you properly defeating the algae. To me, this is more important than how to manually remove it. So in this video, I will only be talking about the measures you should take when you have a beard algae problem. To solve a black beard algae problem, the key is to remember the three reasons why it grows and to fix that. First, let's talk about reason number one, bad water quality, and how to fix it. This may seem obvious, but the best way to fix bad water is to remove that water and replace it with clean water. By doing a water change, you are removing excess phosphates and nitrogen that is growing the beard algae. Quick note about water changes. Taking out only water will not fix your problem. You need to actively try to remove the sludge and waste trapped in your substrate with the water for water changes to work. Phosphates, or more accurately waste products, build up on top of the substrate over time. So the key point is when you do a water change, be sure to take the water and the sludge on slash in the substrate. Another reason why water quality can go bad quickly is by having too many fish or feeding too much. So if you do feed too much or have too many fish, reduce them accordingly. For example, fish food contains a lot of phosphorus, so overfed tanks grow lots of algae, especially beard algae. Next, let's talk about filters, more specifically filter media. This is also important. If the filter media is too dirty, the filter will have a hard time doing any cleaning. So please check to make sure your filter media is not too dirty or else your water change won't be as effective. With that said, for biological filter media, washing it too much is bad, but so is leaving it alone for too long. In a healthy, thriving tank, you probably don't have to clean your biomedia much, but if your tank has beard algae, it would be best to open up your filter and to clean it. Also, if your biomedia is too old, you should replace it. Reason being that for biomedia that feels rough, over time there's probably pores in the media that got clogged with waste, reducing the amount of filtration. So by replacing the clogged media with new media, your filtration capacity will go back to where it was before. Most of you probably don't think about how clean your biomedia is, or its lifespan, but please do check. That concludes how to fix number one, bad water quality. If you follow this, you will see your water quality improve, and you will see your black beard algae weaken and disappear with time. Next, let's solve reason number two, too much water flow. This is an issue that goes under the radar for many people. In particular, people who use a spray bar for their external filter output can have trouble with beard algae due to the flow from the spray bars being strong, direct flow that blasts many parts of your aquascape. To solve this, here at Aquashop Wasabi, we use ADA lily pipes. With the ADA lily pipes, they output the right amount of flow, which makes the environment difficult for blackbeard algae to grow. So for people who use spray bars and are having trouble with beard algae, 
look into switching to a lily pipe. Or if you feel hands-on, you can drill more holes into your spray bar, which will help to reduce direct flow. So I recommend to check your water flow situation if you are having trouble with beard algae. Lastly, let's solve reason number three, the condition of your plants. This is important because the weaker your plants get, the more pest algae will want to grow. It's like a seesaw. For example, the healthier your plants are, the less healthy the algae will be. The less healthy your plants are, the more healthy the algae will be. The key here is that having healthy plants directly affects how much beard algae wants to grow. And having too few plants means not as much waste gets removed naturally, so always plant a lot. And if your plants are not happy, maybe check your fertilizer routine or even possibly replacing your old soil. I have covered these two topics in past videos, so please check out my video on fertilizers and my recent video called How to Remove Your Dying Plants if you want to be more familiar with these topics. Regardless, replacing very old soil is very important. If you try to use a very old soil for a long time, the aquarium will slowly turn into a tank full of beard algae. As I mentioned earlier, I did go in depth on this in a previous video, but one way to replace soil is to just remove a section at a time and then add new soil to replace the old one. Or the other method is to take out most or all of the old soil, then replace it with new soil. If you do this, I know of cases where doing a big soil change almost removes the beard algae instantly. So things like soil can play a big role in solving beard algae. If you fix all of the three points mentioned, I would say almost everyone will not have any more beard algae. Make no mistake, your problem will not go away overnight or in a few days, but instead, the beard algae will gradually disappear until you don't even notice it all gone. So if you are having a beard algae problem, please look into those three reasons and how you can fix them. So, how was the video? This topic of why beard algae grows and how to fix it was requested by many viewers. To solve beard algae, I would say impulsiveness is actually quite an important treat to have. It is much, much easier to remove beard algae with these techniques I have taught you when you first find it than it is to wait until your whole tank is covered in black beard algae. For any algae, the speed of both finding and solving is the key. If you think this way, daily observation of your aquarium is very important. I know that many of you are busy people, but try to at least watch your tank for 2, 3, no 5 minutes every day. For those 5 minutes, watch your tank closely. Look for things like if there's any pest algae growing, or if there's a fish carcass rolling around, rotting in your tank. I would say the most important step you can take to prevent beard algae is to properly look at your aquarium. So I hope this video becomes a helpful resource for you to beat that annoying black beard algae. One final word. I always say this, but it is hard for me to answer every single comment on a video. So if the same question is asked many times by different people, you might see my answer as a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the Aquashop Wasabi YouTube channel.